Hi there, my name is Gavin Hewitson. I'm the founder of Top of the Inbox and we are a marketing agency that specializes in both SMS as well as email marketing. Today we're going to be discussing how to create a loop within Klaviyo. And by that I mean when somebody enters the top of the flow, gets to the bottom, and then re-entering them back into that flow once again. Unfortunately, Klaviyo doesn't have any functionality to allow you to do this, and you have to do a few little workarounds within the system, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you do have any questions throughout the video or after, pop them in the comment section down below. Also, we are currently offering consultation calls, so if you need any help with your overall email marketing strategy, click the link down below, and we would love to chat. All right, guys, let's get into it. So step number one is going into your Klaviyo account. For some of you who are new, or haven't seen the new dashboard, this is kind of what it looks like, so it might look a tiny bit different if you haven't seen it, but uh, you're gonna go into your flows, and I've actually got everything pre-set up, but what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and create a flow. Once you create a flow, it'll take you through this process here. You just go create from scratch, and we are going to call the flow, in this case, GH loop flow one call yours whatever you like and then we're going to go ahead and create i'm actually going to call it 1.1 and we're going to go ahead and create that flow so what you're going to want to do to create this flow is you're actually going to want to create a trigger and that is the action that somebody takes to trigger your sequence so in the case of this one i want it to be when somebody orders a certain product and i want the item to be uh item and I want it to be text because you need it to be explicitly the item. The item has to equal this item here. So this flow will only get triggered the moment somebody orders this item. Only people who order this item will go through this flow, okay? And go through this loop. You're gonna click done. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna update their profile property. And you're gonna create new property. We're just gonna call this loop, okay? You can call it whatever you want, but in my case, we're gonna call it loop. I'm going to call it yes. So we're going to update their profile property with the tag loop and make it equal yes. Okay. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this, leave this one open. Then what we're going to do is we're going to find a profile in this account and we are going to update it manually with that code. Okay. So Gavin, let's just go here, see if we can find him. That's me. Oh. There he is. Gotta click that and we're gonna add loop. There we go. Sometimes in your case, it's probably not gonna drop down automatically. We're gonna add yes. Loop, in your case it won't, but I've done this before, so it drops down automatically, but in your case it won't. Property is loop, value is yes. We're gonna add that property. And that just makes things a lot easier going forward. So then we're gonna to go to home. Then next up, we're gonna create a segment. In order to do that, we go list and segments, create list. I'm gonna call mine GH dash dash loop 1.1. It's gonna be properties about somebody, properties, uh, we're gonna call this loop equals yes. So the moment they have this tag added to their profile, they'll get added to this segment. And look, there we go. I'm right in here, there's my profile, because I've had that tag. So in an ideal world, how this would go in practice, is somebody would place an order, they go into this flow, they get updated with the profile property loop as yes, and then they'd be added to this segment. Now, the next step that we have to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this tab, is create a second flow. We're gonna call this create flow. We're gonna call this loop flow 1.2, okay? So we'll go create from scratch, loop flow 1.2, create flow. Now this is gonna be based off of somebody joining this segment. So you're gonna make the trigger be somebody joining gh-loop 
1.1. So the moment they join that segment, they will enter into this flow. I'm gonna move this up a bit here. Click done. And then you're going to go ahead and add a time delay. This time delay is going to be how long you want somebody to wait after they enter the flow. So let's say, sorry, this time delay is going to be based off of how long you want somebody to wait after doing the action that triggers the flow. So if you want somebody to receive an email every five days after doing the action in flow 1.1, you would set that time delay to that. So in this case, we're gonna do it five days. And just for best practice, I'm gonna delay it to 9 a.m. because in my experience, this is when I get the best open rates for this account. And then I'm gonna send them the email that I want them to receive. And we're gonna give this email a unique name. We're gonna call it XYZ. We're also gonna make the subject XYZ. Done, okay? So after five days, they'll get this email. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is add a time delay. Add a one hour time delay. And then you're gonna update their profile property. You are going to remove existing property. You are going to go loop and you're gonna remove it, okay? So they place their order, they wait five days, get their email. Obviously you can add as many emails to the loop as you want, okay? Then at the very end, you add a one hour delay, then you remove the tag that you added in this flow here. And you hit save. And then what we're gonna do is create another segment. It keeps going. This is a very complex series of sequences, but bear with me, it'll all make sense shortly. So we're gonna create another segment. We're gonna call this segment GH dash dash loop 1.2 it's going to be properties about somebody received email uh, what somebody has or has not done sorry so it's going to be what someone has or has not done received email at least once in the last let's say one day, actually, you know what? We'll say two hours. What somebody has or has not done, received email at least once in the last two hours, where the message equals X, Y, Z. And if you've already sent this message, if you've already sent this email, it will auto-populate here because it's registered in Clavio. but if it is not, you need to make sure the name exactly matches it here. So it's gonna be equals X, Y, Z, okay? And you're gonna create a segment, alrighty? Finally, almost done. We're gonna create a third flow. We're gonna go flows. We are gonna call this flow GH dash dash loop flow 1.3, create flow. And then what this is gonna do is it's going to be based off of somebody joining this segment here, so loop 1.2, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna update their profile property with this tag here. And I'll run you through how this all works. So segment gh dash dash loop, uh, where are you? loop 1.2, done. And then you're gonna update profile property, update existing profile property, apologies, create new property. Not update existing property, you're gonna do create new property, and you're gonna call it loop, and you're gonna make it yes. Make sure you get your syntax correct as well. No capitalizations, just the same. You can use capitalizations as long as it's consistent throughout these other flows and segments. Click save, and then you should be done. Now let me show you how this all works. So, somebody places an order. 
they get updated with the profile property loop as yes. They go into this segment, which then triggers this flow here, gives them a five day delay. They receive your email, wait one hour, then the profile property is removed. Then they go into this segment here, which then triggers this flow, which then updates their profile property again with loop as yes, which you guessed it, triggers this flow here again, which then triggers this segment here, which then triggers this, which then triggers this and this, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. That's how you do it. Now, there's a bunch of little variables you can mess around with in here as well, but in a very basic sense, that's how you create a loop flow in Klaviyo. Guys, I hope you found that useful. It's quite a complex little series of flows, but once used and implemented properly, it can be very, very powerful, especially if like subscription-based stuff, very, very useful. Highly recommend it. If you have any other questions, if you have any other questions, chuck them in the comment section down below and I will get to you as soon as I possibly can. If you do want any help with your overall email marketing strategy, please send us a message via the email down below and we will be in touch. Guys, thank you so much. Smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know the drill, new videos every Monday. Look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks, bye.